Manitoba Liquor Marts presents Great Tastes of Manitoba. Great Tastes is brought to you by foodmanitoba.ca, local farms, local foods. Welcome, great to have you. This is Great Tastes of Manitoba. My name is Ace Burpee, joined this week, and I'm so excited. Manitoba Pulse Growers, Roxanne Luco, good to have you. I'm excited. Yes, good to be here. Sheila Nash is here, our product ambassador from Manitoba Liquor Marts. And uh, first, you run through um, what you're going, going to be preparing today, and then we'll turn Sheila loose in the store. Yes, so today we're doing three recipes inspired by French cuisine that feature pulses in them. The first one is the delicious split pea sausage soup. It has dried yellow peas in it. The second one is a gluten-free crepe recipe uh, with chickpea flour. We top it with berries and whipped cream. Mm -hmm. And the last one is a chicken cassoulet served on rice, and it has white navy beans in it. Awesome. Okay. So Look based on that, what are you thinking? I'm not sure yet. Just I'm go wild. Go shopping and you do see a great what job. She does. It's crazy. And She's her, doing it. Like the, yeah. her knowledge is so exceptional. Excellent. I love well, it. See Have what fun I can out there. find. Yeah, yeah look forward to seeing what you come up with. Thanks. First off, uh, we need to know a little bit about pulses. I'm fascinated yes. by them. It's an amazing yes. world. What is all this over here? Pulses is a strange term because a lot of people kind of don't know what it means. By definition, a pulse is the dry edible seed of a legume crop. Okay. Legumes are plants with pods and include beans, peas, chickpeas, and lentils. I bet you there's far more acres covered in pulses than we would ever know about. Yeah, you'd be surprised. There are, this year there were close to 200,000 acres of edible beans and peas grown in Manitoba. Um, this thing? There's probably 10 different types of edible beans that we grow. That's a pinto bean. It's a pinto bean. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> I like it. So people in general aren't eating as much many pulses as they could or should be, and I think it's because they don't know how versatile they are. Right, because you can make these into, into flowers, right? Yeah, I don't know if I would make it my own, but you can buy the flower. Right. I'd buy the flower. So yeah, I mean, the pulse flowers, they're all gluten-free, which is kind of a craze these days. Um, as well, you can make purees. Um, you know, you take a can of lentils, drain it, put it in the blender with some water, and you've got a nice puree to put in muffins, granola bars, cookies, that kind of stuff. Great. And then, of course, the, the dry seeds you can soak and put in many recipes as well. One of my, I have a neighbor out in Cook's Creek, and his name is Jerry Corman, and he makes <laughs> split pea soup, and oh. it's like, it's one of the greatest things ever. And I yours... Bet, I bet it's not as good as ours. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> if the only thing you could do to it to make it better would be to throw in some sausage. We're going to do that. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's going to be good. Can I eat that pea? I, I don't know. It's pretty hard. Don't break your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> so this, this, this recipe is so easy. Who doesn't like uh, a meal that you can put in a crock pot before you leave for work, come home, and it's ready to eat? Nobody. Everybody likes that. That's right. So yellow split peas. Yep. We've rinsed them and drained them. Sausage, farmer sausage. Uh, celery, carrots, onions, and potatoes for some veggies. A little bit of garlic for flavor. Mm -hmm. Some oregano, bay leaves, and chicken broth. Awesome. So pretty simple. Uh, basically, we're just going to throw everything we in the pot. Yeah. You, you put it in. Uh oh. That's all right. Stuck. There we go. You know what my friend does? He has like a three year old um, girl. And to get her to eat peas, he called them happies. <laughs> no, she refers to them. You can use that. How old is your, hey, well, you? Hey, a little one right now. He's only three months old, well, so he's, uh, on, he's not that. eating food yet. To get him to eat peas, carrots. call them happies, and it makes Onions. it more fun. Oh boy, it's my parenting. This is part parenting show, <laughs> part cook. What was that? Some Sorry, garlic. that was potatoes. Oh yeah, some garlic. Ooh, I'm yeah, sure that gets mixed up in there. Splash of oregano. Mm -hmm. Oh, a couple of bay good. leaves. Make sure you take these out before you eat. They're not really too okay. edible. And we'll top it off with our broth. And then this you can just like put in in the morning. Yeah. And then... Set your slow cooker. Ooh, yeah. we're not going to ruin everything. That's okay. So stir that up. Okay. Um, and yeah, you set it on high for six to seven minutes. Hopefully you have a slow cooker that automatically goes to warm yes. um, when it's done. And then when you come home, it's going to be... It's a uh, work eat. of art. Yeah. And okay. I'm sure you can, you know, I'm sure if you didn't like sausage, you could probably put chicken. Um, you can kind of put whatever you want. If you want to, if you don't like onions, don't put them in. Um, kind of be flexible. Okay. Now, yes. this is after a hard day at work. <laughs> yes. You have put all these ingredients, all these magical ingredients, and yes. the star of the show being, what are they, split yellow peas? Peas? Yes. And then you end up with this. Yes. Oh, my goodness. 
Get in, you gotta smell it. Mm. Yeah. This is unbelievable. <laughs> I'm gonna stir it up because some of the peas go to the bottom, right? Yeah. That's perfect. This is actually one of those recipes. You know some meals actually taste better the next day when they've, you know, the flavors have settled in and right. you reheat it. Yeah. This is one of those, I feel like on the second day when you take it out of the fridge and you, and you reheat it on the stove or in the microwave, even more flavor comes out of it. It's so good. This is such a good show. And we it's are thick. Doing it's almost a, like a stew. Yeah. Really. This is hearty and tasty. <laughs> we are uh, doing a French twist on pulses. That's the theme yeah. of the show. Manitoba Pulse Growers. And can we do this? Absolutely. Okay. Again. And actually, the, this I love. I know I'm going to love it. The next segment is going to be extra delicious. I believe we're making crepes. Yes. Uh, with berries. And then there's some flour in the crepes. Yeah. That's very Chick interesting, flour. right? Yeah, yeah very yes. cool. All right, so we'll do that after the break. Sheila's going to work hard to uh, pair with all these, and I'm going to eat. So stick with us, Manitoba Pulse Growers. Can I? Absolutely. Good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good is the most massive understatement ever.